All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Sparkle Fresh, and today I am playing the golf club, and this is actually going to be my very first lesson video. I did this before with Power Star Golf. Um, the games are a little bit different, but just to give you a quick heads up, a little bit of knowledge goes a long way, and golf is a very difficult game. So, I mean, if you're a really good golfer, if you play uh, a lot of golf in real life, if you have a lot of knowledge, then maybe this video isn't for you. But, I mean, you can always pick up tips and tricks. I mean, Tiger Woods has a golf coach, for crying out loud. Actually, at the moment, he doesn't. But what I'm getting at is, I mean, there's always something going on. There's always something to learn. So if you guys I mean, have any tips for me, go ahead and throw them in there. But today I'm going to kind of start off a little bit slow. I'm just going to do a quick little video introduction here. Um, one of the very first things I'm going to talk about is that uh, this game... Even though it doesn't feel like you're playing golf, because, I mean, you're not outside, you don't have a golf club in your hands, um, it doesn't take years of training and practice, but it does have the most, how do I say this, it is the closest game that I've, golf game that I've played that replicates the feeling that you get when you're playing golf. Uh, so basically what that means is just the subtleties in your swing and things that you need to pay attention to. There is a lot of difference between slow greens and fast greens and how you need to play um, all of this stuff, how you need to prepare for your next shot. So having this knowledge is going to be helpful, helpful for you. A good example is um, if you hit a drive and you think it's a good drive but it possibly goes off into the rough. There are a few different things that you could do to help yourself not hit it in the rough. Maybe you need to tone it down a club. Maybe you need to hit it into the hill or hit it into the wind. Like all of these little tiny things affect you. The first tip that I'm going to give everybody out there is that if you're not very good, play the easy courses. There is a massive difference between the easy courses and the more difficult courses. As far as missing your shots, the speed of the greens, if you can't do good on an easy course, don't make things more difficult for you uh, by playing on more challenging courses. So just start off easy. Nobody cares. Nobody's judging you. Just start off slow. But the main focus of today's lesson is going to be uh, swinging and how you swing with your analog stick in the golf club. So. I talked about this before, but one thing that you're definitely not going to want to do is you're not going to want to use your thumb uh, in this motion right here. Mostly because it's already, it's coming up at an angle, it rotates. And basically what this is going to mean is that when you're, when you're bringing it front and back, you're not going to consistently be able to hit straight shots unless by some miracle you can, and then by all means, more power to you. But this is one of those things where I can't give you the exact answer of what to do. And actually, with this game, there's going to be a lot of that. I'm not going to be able to give you an exact answer, but that's kind of the brilliance of this game. So one thing when focusing on how you're going to hit your shot is, you know, most people are going to want to do this motion right here. And it's just not going to work. You don't have a lot of control. I talked earlier about making this uh, motion right here because it's a back and forth motion. What I have found personally that works for me the best is using two fingers. So I'll actually have this thumb right here, this thumb right here. They're kind of both pushing towards the center a little bit. And I feel like I can bring it straight back and straight through the easiest. If you, if you want to hit a fade, if you want to hit a draw, you can just turn the controller a little bit and hit it in this direction, and you'll hit a little bit of a draw. And if you want to hit a fade, you can turn the, the controller to this direction, and you will hit a little bit of a fade this direction. So it's very, very touchy, the controls. So don't get frustrated right away. Uh, go ahead and play some rounds, play some practice rounds. Do whatever you can do till you find something that feels good for you. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, if you have to use your knee, I mean, 
as long as it works. If you need to set the controller down on a table, just figure something out that will enable you to hit the ball as straight as you possibly can because that is going to be the main key to playing this game well. If you are not hitting your shots how you want to, then nothing is going to work right because there are huge advantages for hitting it in the fairway and there are huge disadvantages for not hitting the fairway. This game, just about like almost every other golf game that's ever made, doesn't really depict sand very well. So, you know, missing a fairway sand trap is going to be really important. In real life, man, if I'm in a fairway sand trap, I can... I am masterful out of fairway sand traps. I can knock it tight. I mean, I just... You know, I figured it out and I can do it, but in this game, it doesn't allow you to, like, take one club up and still be able to hit uh, the proper distance. So just take note in that. Practice. Um, just like you're playing golf in real life, you know. This game isn't Tiger Woods golf. It's not Hot Shots golf. It's not Power Star golf. It's not going to be easy right away. Some people probably that have a little more skill or knowledge with golf are going to be able to pick it up a little bit easier. But that's what I'm here for. I'm going to, I'm going to teach you guys how to become uh, decent at this game or at least understand what you're doing so you know what it is that you're doing wrong when you're doing it so you can possibly try to correct it. And you know it could take weeks, it could take months, but it is very rewarding to make a par and to make a birdie sometimes. And that's one of the things I absolutely love this game. I've been talking about it for a long time now. There's just no game that it feels good to make a birdie. I mean, I was playing earlier and I freaking fist pumped for some pars that I made because they were clutch, because it felt great. Shooting a couple under par or around even is, it's just a really, really nice change of pace. So this is just kind of the uh, first little video. This is lesson one, it's about the swing mechanic. Uh, I'm definitely going to dabble into a lot of other stuff. I have a tendency to kind of like ramble on in these videos where they end up being 20 or so minutes. So I'm going to try to keep the first few a little bit shorter, but I'm sure some of them are going to get lengthy. So I thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for things that you need help on, if you want me to review any courses that you've made, uh, please do so. I've had a few people add me as friends. I've added a few people as friends. We've rivaled each other's scores, uh, had some fun already, so really excited about this game. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. Take it easy.